What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one. And we got to talk more about this Jalen Brown being left off Team USA situation. Now, Kawhi Leonard had to go home and rest his injuries. It wouldn't have been a good look for him to play this summer with all the playoff games he's missed for the Clippers. So I think Team USA and the Los Angeles Clippers came to an understanding that it wouldn't be in Kawhi or that organization's best interest if he played. So naturally, many thought with Jalen Brown coming off the Eastern Conference Finals MVP and NBA Finals MVP that he would be quite the replacement for Kawhi Leonard. But instead, they chose his teammate, Derek White, who would do a fine job but, you know, it is widely thought that Jalen Brown should have been on there. And people saying, you know, if it's Nike, why is Ant-Man on the team? Well, remember, Jalen Brown publicly says something about Nike and Phil Knight, um, you know, when Kyrie was going through what he was going through. And today, Jalen Brown actually responded, man, on Twitter. And these are his tweets from the day. He was looking like, you know, shocked that they didn't select him. And also, he says, Nike, this what we doing? So um, hinting at, you know, or, or elaborating further on his Phil Knight statement, you know, that he made a while back. Now, that's in my first video, which I'll, I'll have at the end of this video. You can click on it and check it out and see what Jalen Brown said. But today, Grant Hill, who's an ambassador for Team USA, um, we saw him going around giving the guys the jerseys and all that. Uh, during the season, he spoke on what Jalen Brown had to say and talked about how he was a feline athlete. So if it was about that, then he would have never been on Team USA. And we also had Stephen A. Smith respond. We're going to get to what Stephen A. Smith said first and then Grant Hill next. Stephen A. Smith said, do y'all believe me now? Yo, at Jalen Brown, do I need to reveal my sources now? Is it not obvious now? How in the, does a $300 million man now, a champion and an NBA Finals MVP who's clearly a top two player on the Celtics and a top 15 player in the world not chosen for Team USA because his teammates not named Tatum is selected before him. Come on, y'all. And he was responding to what Jalen Brown had to say on Twitter. Now, this is what Grant Hill had to say. Let's peep. Well, for a good portion of my career, I wore Fila. Um, so, uh, that was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> um, play right. um, no, I mean, we, 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 um, you know, we're proud of our, our partners, obviously, in USA basketball, but, you know, this is, this is about putting together a team. And, and I'm glad you kind of brought that up because I think just overall, you, you have incredible interest from you know, an abundance of talent that we have here in the United States. And I've talked a little bit about when we, you know, we assembled this roster. You can't, you know, you got 12 spots <laughs> and you have to build a team. And one of the hardest things is leaving people off the roster that I'm a fan of, that I look forward to watching throughout the season, throughout the playoffs. Um, guys who've been, um, Finals MVPs, guys who've been a part of the program, guys who've won gold medals, uh, guys who I respect, admire, and enjoy watching. And But the responsibility that I have is to put together a team, and a team that complements each other, a team that fits, a team that will um, give us the best opportunity for success. And um, so, you know, whatever theories that might be out there, um, you know, they're, they're just that. But that's that's my responsibility. And it's tough. It's tough to, you know, have conversations, tell people that they're not on the team. And uh, so I, I know I talked about that in the past, but I, I just think that speaks in general. Like, I, I'm trying to win, and I'm trying to put together the right pieces that fit and give us a chance to win. It's the plan for Derek to see their seven for practice. Yeah, man, so you kind of hear it there from Grant Hill, uh, his thoughts and his involvement in the process. You hear Stephen A. Smith saying, you know, do we need a site of sources? Now, yeah, we kind of do need to know who um, is talking about Jalen Brown this way. It's it's a crying shame that we can talk about someone who ain't messing with nobody, uh, doing positive things in the community in this way. Nobody can literally point to what Jalen Brown has done 
that is bad. You know, we we forgive people for far worse offenses than a man just showing up, playing, um, being kind of introverted, but really outspoken at the right times. He'll speak up for Kyrie Irving. He'll speak up for different things. Um, Stephen A., you ain't give Aaron Rodgers this type of talk when he didn't want, you know, to get the vaccine. And so when you have Jalen Brown speaking up for Kyrie Irving, now you've got all this to say, and um, this is what people said about him, and it's like an aha told you moment. See, I told you that this ain't the time for that. Um, I, do, I do understand Jalen Brown wore his state your sore shirt, but um, again, man, it's just bigger fish to fry. If we letting Dana White get on with what he's doing, and we ain't going at somebody like that in sports, then it, it ain't no room to go at somebody like Jalen Brown, in my opinion. It's much bigger fr fish to fry than what Jalen Brown has allegedly done, and Kyrie Irving, for that matter. They, these people ain't bothering nobody. Um, and, and Grant Hill, talking about him being a feline, I mean, Grant Hill, you were one of the most crystal cleanest players of all time, so... You wouldn't understand somebody getting a narrative painted on them. You were the Duke clean guy. You know, so, I, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but that's how you was always viewed. Um, and you never spoke against Nike. See, that that's one thing. You guys have deals with your shoe company, but Nike will court you again because it's business. So if you don't come out and openly say something crazy about them, then – Okay, you know they they may let you, um, they 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 may let you go ahead and play for Team USA, but we're not gonna act like Coach K's involvement didn't slide you back in there too. Um, that that's how you got involved in Duke, you know, being a Nike school and all that stuff. Although you individually went with Fila, we can't act like your Coach K connection uh, had nothing to do with you getting in with Team USA. So, and, and and the program you come from having that Duke, I mean, having that Nike relationship. So, um, that's all I have to say about that, man. Um, again, somebody point me in the direction of what Jalen Brown has done, because maybe I missed it. You know, I, I give myself that leeway. I miss some things that are very bad that people do. So point me in the direction of what Jalen Brown did because nobody can point to why he wouldn't be likable or or why he, um, you know, wouldn't make Team USA. I, I, I just, I don't get it. But, you know, I, I on the surface level, I do know that the powers that be feel some sort of way about his going to the big three game. I think it started there. Uh, it's, it, well, it actually started with taking up for Kyrie, but going to the big three game was icing on the cake, and they wanted to send a message to anybody else who thought about going to one of the – not just going, but going and playing in the game and bringing eyes of an NBA player to their uh, league. They're probably like, we're going to send a message like that. And he's all, he's an employee of, you know, the MBPA He's one of the vice presidents, right? So um, it's interesting, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time.